Hello world, I want to introduce you to V0 of my kinematic coupling. Now kinematic couplings are cool because what you can do with them is take two surfaces and mate them together uh, in only one way. And that's cool because let's say um, you have a robot arm and a uh, tool that you want to pick up and put down and pick up and put down. Well, it would be nice if you could pick it up and put it down uh, the same way every single time. That way, uh, every time you picked up the tool, you wouldn't have to recalibrate its location relative to the arm. Now, um, in this case, uh, let's say the bottom half over here is part of my robot arm, and let's say um, the top half is part of some sort of tool that the robot arm is moving around. Um, what would happen is when the robot arm goes to pick up the, the tool, it only lands in one spot. There's really only one way that it fits together, and it's the right way. Um, so that is uh, that's kind of the gist of it. What's missing here though is um, there's right now gravity is holding these two together, but there's nothing to like prevent them from like flopping around. And so what I need to add to this is a way to actually take a way to actually squeeze these together once they come together. So the idea is maybe they'll be slightly misaligned and then boom, they lock together. And then I need something that will actually squeeze these together so they stay in this in the ones configuration where they're supposed to actually meet. Um, yeah. So I hope you're about as excited about this as I am. I think this is super awesome. Um, and uh, I look forward to, let's say, a 3D printer with many tools, or uh, it doesn't even have to be 3D printing tools. I could be drawing with pens. I could put the pen down and then pick up a vinyl cutter, uh, drag knife, and then cut it out. Uh, so there's so many wonderful opportunities you can do if you are able to change tools. So that's kind of the gist behind this. Uh, finally, this is inspired by uh, E3D's Twitter feed. Right now what they're doing is they are also building an open source 3D printer uh, with a tool changer. Um, so I was following that and thought it would be cool to build one of these for myself. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the future.